All right, so I have uh, the amber vial, of uh, which would have a label on it if it was from you. I've taken the glass vial of medication at it, which when you have it, it will also have a little label from the batch on there. I have the needle and syringe pulled out. I am particular to the 1cc, 5 16th of an inch, 31 gauge needle and syringe. 31 gauge is the finest that you can get. Uh, 5 16th is a short needle, and I've just always worked with a 1cc. If you're injecting a small amount, if you're injecting just 10 units, uh, you could get a half cc or 50 unit syringe. Um, just over the years, I've just always used a 1cc, 5 16th of an inch, 31 gauge uh, needle and syringe. I'll mention here uh, regarding the length of the needle, it, it's also common for a physician to prescribe, and in many places, these things are sold over the counter, so you can request whatever length you want. Some physicians train using a half inch needle, and your injection technique is somewhat dependent on the length of the needle that you're using. So with a 5 16th of an inch needle, the shorter needle, you want to be sure to really go into the penis, right into the side, maybe even pushing so that the hub creates a small indent in the side of the penis. The hub is where the shiny silver needle meets the plastic of the syringe. So with the shorter 5 16th of an inch needle, you want to push right into the side. With the half inch needle, it's not necessary to make that indent. But another common uh, source of injection failures is guys will maybe be trained using a half inch needle by the doctor and then without thinking about it they choose uh, to fill a prescription with the shorter needle length because that sounds more appealing and then they use a half inch technique while administering using the 5 16th shorter needle and things go awry there because you're not administering the medication directly to the target site that we need to reach in the penis. Okay, the other thing I've got here are the alcohol pads, and then I have a prop penis that I'm gonna use, and this always gets a little strange because I have to hold on to it. If you're doing the injection yourself, obviously you'll have both hands free, but because I'm gonna be showing you how to do the injection with the prop penis, I'm gonna be holding on to this, so we'll just work through that together and, and talk through that. So, first things first, I'm gonna open an alcohol prep pad. And I'm going to rub the top of the vial, the rubber stopper on there to clean that. Uh, just do a couple of strokes here, vertical strokes, to clean the top of the vial. Let that dry for a moment. You know, at this point, you could clean the side of the penis, you could, or you could wait and draw up the dose. It, it, it you know, as you do this more and more, you're going to get better at it, and it's going to be faster. So I'm gonna just go ahead and clean the side of the penis here. So I'm gonna say we're gonna inject in the left side of the penis. Uh, we talked in terms of the length of the penis, where to inject. I'll show you this way because uh, it's, that's the best visual. You wanna inject anywhere from halfway between the base and the tip of the penis or closer to the base. And again, I'm a big fan of going about a third of the length of the penis. So right there where my middle finger is pointing is about where I'd recommend doing the injection. Uh, and then if we talk about the circumference of the penis around, I use that clock analogy where this would be 12 o'clock, uh, we don't inject there. This would be six o'clock, we don't inject there. Uh, I'm a big fan, as I said, of going right straight in the side. This would be uh, nine o'clock, and then over here would be three o'clock, I think, or I may have the three and the nine mixed up, but you know what I mean, right straight in the side of the penis, like the wing of an airplane or the line on a horizon. So if I just put my finger here where I'm gonna put the needle, you can see that I'm about a third of the way or maybe halfway down the length of the shaft. And then in terms of the circumference, I am right straight in the side of the penis. Okay, so I've cleaned the top of the vial. Uh, I'm now gonna rub the side of the penis. Again, this will be a little easier for you because the penis is attached to your body. Just generally clean that area, give the alcohol a chance to dry, as I mentioned. That's going to avoid stinging and allow the alcohol to have an antimicrobial effect. Okay. I'll put the penis down for a moment and um, I will now work to draw up the fluid into the needle and syringe. There's a cap over the plunger. We want to remove that. And then we're going to remove the orange cap over the needle and syringe, over the syringe rather. Let me get really close to the needle here, uh, to the camera. You can see how tiny the needle is 
All right. So I'm approaching the rubber stopper. I'm just going slow here so I can try and watch my camera to make sure I'm showing you what I'm doing. I'm going right into the rubber stopper, right there in the center like a bullseye, goes in very easily. You know what I didn't do? I didn't pull up the, uh, I didn't fill the syringe first with the volume of air. Uh, that's okay. Uh, it's a small volume. If we were filling a different type of syringe, it, it's a little more important. I'm gonna just pull up 30 units here. So I'm pulling back. Uh, I'm trying to balance my need to see what I'm doing against uh, my desire to show you what I'm doing through the camera. So I've got the black plunger line right there about on 30, as you can probably see. We're measuring uh, the amount of liquid that's in there. So, so the 30 is right there. I don't have a ton of air. Uh, let's see if I can show you. There's a bubble or two, nothing in there that's really going to interfere. But if there was, you can flick the side. You know, you would maybe do this while you've got, let's say, you had a big bunch of air in there. You flip the side and then you push up. And you can push until you see I've got a little drip there. And if I, if I show very closely, you know, I'm right on the 30 line. So that's about 30 units that we're going to inject. So we're ready to go. We've cleaned the side of the penis. Uh, again, I've shown you in terms of the length and circumference, I'm going about a third of the way in right inside. So this can be done quicker than this, but I'm gonna go slow here to show you. This is a 5 16th of an inch needle. And so it's okay to push a little bit. If you're holding the penis, uh, you can push a little bit almost so that the penis bends a little like the string on a bow and arrow. You're not gonna hurt yourself by doing that a little bit. And you can start to see the dimple that is created by the hub where the shiny silver needle meets the plastic. So we're right in the side of the penis and then you slowly depress the plunger. Uh, I'm doing 30 units. So you remember my rule, I said one to two seconds for each 10 units. So I'm starting now, one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five, 1,000. We're done. Remove the needle and syringe. At this point, you would potentially squeeze right, uh, right where the needle came out. You want to squeeze to prevent the fluid from coming out. You want to put some compression on there in order to stop bruising and bleeding. It's okay even to squeeze a little bit to manipulate the penis like this. And you want to hold there and squeeze a bit to begin to interact with the penis and, and again, prevent bruising and bleeding, but also interact with the penis and start touching it a little bit to begin to stimulate the effects of the medication. So we hold, hold, hold. This could go on for a minute, two minutes. Again, it's, if you're on blood thinners, you'd want to hold longer because you're more likely to bruise or bleed. Uh, and you'll figure this out over time. And that's it, that's the injection. So you should start to get an erection uh, within minutes and uh, full effect will be achieved within 10 minutes. Let me talk for a minute about bruising and bleeding. Lots of times guys get really anxious about this if they get bruising. Sometimes it's a small bruise or, or you know, they'll see a drop of blood and then the next morning they wake up and, they're, and their penis is very, very bruised. I've seen, um, you know, sort of fully purple penises is very scary, but it's, it's nothing really to be scared about. Um, it's just blood that has gotten under the skin of the penis and it spreads. And because the thinnest skin, the skin is thin, it can really spread and create a lot of, uh, a lot of bruising all under the penis. It will subside like any bruise over time it can take three, four, five, six days. Uh, the bruising will begin to change color. It'll go from that purple to yellow and whatnot. Again, nothing really to worry about, just aesthetically it's uh, not great and it, it tends to cause some anxiety, but there's nothing necessarily to worry about there. So the only thing I wanna mention again, uh, because I, I didn't draw up air before I went into the plunger, let me do that again for a minute. So you can draw up to 30 here, you know, fill the syringe with air, to the amount that you're going to inject and then enter the vial. Now push the air into the syringe 
and then pull back. Uh, again, you, you don't have to do that. You saw that the first time I didn't do it. This is really more relevant when you're doing large volumes, which you wouldn't do for a penile injection. Uh, if we were mixing meds in the clean room or something using a 30 cc syringe, it becomes more important to equalize the pressure in the vial and the needle and syringe. Um, so I just showed you there how to first fill up the syringe with air, inject that in, and then withdraw. And I've got 30 units in here again. All right, so we've done the slides. We have done a demonstration. I am putting the cap on the needle now, which you can't see off screen, bear with me. I've recap, you don't, you don't necessarily have to recap it. You could throw it right in the sharps container. I've got a sharps container here open that up and we'll put our used needle and syringe in there and we're good to go.